Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking in Your Hood. We are going to be making chopped cheeseburger subs. Alright, so you got us some hamburger. Now you want to pay attention to when you're getting your hamburger. Alright, always pay attention to the lean versus your, um, what is it again? <laughs> versus your fat. So this is good. It's juicy hamburger. 80% lean, 20% fat. This is going to be some good, good hamburger. Alright. So, we are going to start off with, I'm trying to, wait a minute, y'all already know I'm trying to get this damn live up, y'all already know I'm already cuckoo for cuckoo puffs. Alright. Um, I'm coming in one minute, guys. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be doing, hey Shimon, I'm good. Um, so we're going to be doing, uh, chopped, uh, cheeseburgers tonight, alright? So we got some good hamburger here, alright? Put a little oil in the pan, just a tad, not enough, not a lot of man, alright? It's going to be some good, instead of making, you know, cheeseburger, you know, meatloaf or spaghetti or something like that, this is another dish you want to, you can add as a twist, alright? So we're gonna ground the bird, um, we're gonna ground it up, alright? So that's what it's the part of the chopping comes in. Alright. Alright, salt you're gonna put on last. Always put your salt on last, alright? Take some more. I'm making a couple of these. Alright, so that should be enough. My dog's in there whining. Okay. Get a fork. Wash my hands a little bit. I'm digging my drawer. Okay, we're gonna get a fork. I'm ready here to hear that sizzle. Let me wipe this chop off. I mean, this uh, chopping board off. Okay, need on this. Has soap in the rag, so you don't have to worry about it. All right. So right now we're just. Going to ground the meat up just a little. Brown the meat up some, okay? Before you start putting your seasoning into the meat. All right, like I said, this is 80% lean, 20% fat, all right? So you may, make sure you pay attention to that, all right? That way you're not getting all that gristle and all that crazy stuff inside of your hamburger, all right? And if you guys don't see me in the video, it's because <laughs> I'll pop in every once in a while, but this is all about the dishes, all right? Sometimes I'll make videos with me wholeheartedly. You'll see me, but most of the time it's going to be about this. Like I said, guys, listen. You guys always saying support each other, support each other. Well, you guys already see what I'm trying to do. Now, I'm trying to come to your home to see what kind of meals you can make. There's something different that everybody else can try to make at home. Instead of making the regular same chicken, fried chicken, and all that stuff. What kind of twist do you put to your fried chicken? What kind of twist do you put to your meal when you're making fried chicken? You know what I mean? Stuff like that. 
All right. These meals, um, I show all the way through because some people still do not know how to cook, and that's okay. You know, you can't fault everybody for everything. You know, so I cook all these meals all the way through so you guys can see step by step because you'll see a lot of videos that they show you what they're doing but not all the way and then you're wondering how, how did they get that part What's that? so that's what I'm doing right now hey Miss Sylvia you alright okay so I'm eating this browning up really good Yeah, make it different, baby. That's the only way I want. Because I hate to eat the same meal all the time. I really do. I really, really, truly do hate eating the same thing. That makes me stop wanting to cook. You know, and I think that's what's wrong with a lot of people. You don't want to cook because you keep making the same thing constantly and constantly. So, this is what I'm doing. Okay. So. But it's okay. I got a few houses that I'm going to be going into soon. So. I'm gonna make the magic happen for myself. So, I'm a true hustler. And if you guys like the videos, please just like them. You know, you don't have to comment, just like the video. That's all you have to do. Because I'll, you know, this makes me wanna keep doing them. If you don't like them, then I'm gonna stop doing them. If you like them, I'll keep doing them constantly. But you have to like them so I know that people are liking them. I see that you guys are watching. Thank you very much for doing so. But if you like it, like the video. There's nothing wrong with liking somebody's post. All right, so this meat is ground up enough. I mean, I uh, browned enough, enough for me to start adding my seasoning. Although there you see some pink in there, but still, it's, it's good enough for me to start adding my seasonings, all right? I'm going to just add a little garlic, just a little garlic powder. Okay, just a little garlic powder because you don't need all that garlic powder, all right? I'm going to add a little lari seasoning. And of course, you're going to add just some pepper. No salt today, guys. No salt. Okay. Yes, babe, go ahead. Grandson's driving me nuts today. It's okay. I enjoy his time. So, like I said, just going to ground the meat up. We're going to um, saute some onions here. Okay. So, now that I got some seasoning inside here, I'm going to leave this alone for a moment so I can cut up some onions. All right. We'll leave that out because we're going to use that again. All right. So you need this right here. This is really good. You can go to the Dollar Tree and get this. This scrapes up all the pro you know, the product that you use when you try to put it into the pan. You can just scrape it up. Wow. There you go. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's really good to use. All right. Also, use is good for uh, chopping. You need a bread knife. Bread knives look like this here. Okay. You wonder why sometimes when you're cutting your bread, it's not cutting good because you need a bread knife. All right. And then, of course, you know your regular knife that you need to cut everything else with. Now, this is the most important thing for a tomato. Now, you know when you slice the tomato because you want to get the butt off and the top of it off, but you're wasting tomato. If you use this right here, you won't waste any tomato at all. All you're doing is coring the top and the bottom. This is really good, and I think you'll find these at the Dollar Tree, too, I think. All right. Let me stir this a little more first. Okay. Uh-oh. Get off there. Watch Spider Man, baby. Okay, cut some onions. Onion. Yellow onion. You trying to make things possible for me? I'm trying to make things happen for me. So, my parents. Like I said, my father was a very good chef here in Lang City. 
My mom does her, her thing, catering, and that's where I get it from, all right? So, and then I got on punishment so much, believe me, when I was younger, getting in trouble so much, you guys know what, you know, if you know me. And this is what taught me how to cook now. Like I said, with this gravy situation, <laughs> I cried, cried, and cried to my mom. I called my mom down south and told her I don't know how to make gravy. My gravy kept staying white. That was crazy. She said, you let it burn? I said, no. The oil burn? I said, no. She said, that's why. And, you know, anytime I really, really want to learn how to make something and I don't know how to make it, I will call my mother. She's the best. She is the best. Draw your fingers in, guys, when you are cutting anything, all right? You don't want to cut your nails or your fingers, all right? So draw your fingers in. Draw your nubs in. All right? That hamburger smells good. We're going to add a little more seasoning to that hamburger once I finish chopping up the onion. Okay. Add a little more seasoning. We're just gonna add some lard sauce because we want to give a little taste to that burger. Okay. And then we're gonna turn that oven down a little bit. Gotta get our lid. We're going to move that to the back there. We're going to get our lid to cover it. We're going to bring this pan over. Add a little, add a little um, oil. A little oil because you're going to saute this up. Okay, this thing is good for this. Snatch this is all up. You see that? Nice. Oh, let me make sure this oil gets hot real quick. I'm about to throw the stove in there, right? Okay, as long as we cut that, we can get rid of the trash while we're waiting for that. waiting for the oil to heat up a little bit. By the way, guys, uh, the bread that we're going to be using today is hard rolls, okay? Hard rolls. That's what we're going to be using today, okay? Hard rolls. That's the kind of bread that I like when I'm eating a cheesecake because I want it to, to slop up all those juices. Mm, 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 mm. It's so good. I'm frozen. I don't know. I hope you guys can see me. Okay, we're gonna throw those in there. Okay, you see how easy it was? I love that little thing. Okay, let's break up some of these onions. Okay, we're just gonna throw a little salt and pepper on the onion, alright? Some pepper there. Okay. I'm short. <laughs> so I make what? There you go. Just a little salt. Not too much salt. There we go. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of onions when you're cooking. I don't know. Something that just smells like you're cooking a steak. Mm -hmm. You need one of these little snatch up things. Yeah, the snatch up things are good. The snatch up things are good. These you can get them from a Dollar Tree. These are really good to have. All right, you can get them from the Dollar Tree. 
and you see how good they are. They don't bend or anything. I also have like a little measure in here. Uh, oh, that smells good. I wish you guys would smell this through that camera. And guys, share, 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 share. Hit the share button, please. Please, that's all I ask you guys to so like and share. Please, 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 please. Hey, cuz. You guys, please like and share. Please like and share. Hit the share button. Hit the share button. Just let me know that I can do these more for you. You wouldn't believe how many people really don't know how to cook, okay? Seriously. And, you know, that's why we have people like us to come over here to show you. But you have sometimes you have to slow down your cooking, your camera, so people can actually see what you're doing. Because there's a lot of people that still really don't know how to cook. And they're like, how did you get that part? I didn't see that part. Well, this, I'm here for that, all right? I do no more than 30 minutes to 45 minute cooking sessions. You guys cook anything um, that you know you think no one else cooks? We would like to see that too. Apple bottom, need to cut it off. Um, so you think that you guys want me to cook? You need to leave that in the comments. I'm gonna burn these up a little more. Yep, that's good. They're looking caramelized, which is really good. They're releasing that sugar. Somebody leave it in the comments and let me know that you can still see me, please. <coughs> it's still brown. Oh, yeah, those look good. Mm. We're about to set these to the side. Yeah, they look good. Mm. Share, share, share the button, please. Hit the share button, please. Hit the like and the share button, please. Rochelle, can you see me in here? Okay, thanks, Miss Sylvia. All right, we're just going to move this to the side now. Uh-oh, that's hot. 
<laughs> That's hot. Put that off the fire. All right. So now that I have everything, I don't know why my video is not trying to stick. Cooked. Okay, now that we have all that cooked, we're gonna move that to the side here. I wanna cut me some jalapenos up. Okay. Before we do that, we're gonna drain this meat. Put the cheese in there, and I'm gonna use American cheese, sliced American cheese, white cheese. That's the only kind of cheese that I like, white cheese. Sorry, that was my daughter. Okay, sorry, my dog, my daughter, everybody's trying to call me and do whatever they're gonna do. So, um, yeah. So we drain the meat, the uh, the meat out because you don't want oily food. Okay, you drain the meat. We're gonna get some cheese here. My cheese was sitting out so it's nice and warm. Okay, so we just gonna throw some slices of cheese in there so we can mix that and melt that, and that's gonna be your cheeseburger. So, all right, all oh, those onions smell so delicious, guys. Don't forget to hit the share button before you leave and the like button, please. Child. I mean, it's always something, something in this house all the time. I can't never have a. Oh, hold on, guys. You shouldn't have company when um, you know when you're cooking. I'm sorry. Okay, we're just gonna mix this cheese in here. Then we're gonna add some more cheese to it, guys. Gonna turn this up a little, turn the fire on, okay? So get that cheese to melt nicely while you're cooking this. So remember the set for a little bit, so. And we got that cheese on there, okay? And then we're gonna throw those onions in there. Oh my goodness, that's gonna be so good. I mean, it's basically, that's all you really do. Just ground up some hamburger, get you some onions if you like those, get your condiments that you like, um, your cheese, and put it in the sub roll, snap some mayo, whatever else on there, and call it a day. It's a cheeseburger set. Okay, so you want to make sure the cheese is all the way melted, like right? you don't want to be giving hunks of cheese out in somebody's food. Okay. Please hit the like button, the share button. I'll keep saying that. I'll keep saying that. You'll see me every day on here. And that's the only way I'm gonna get the support. I gotta support myself. I gotta you got you gotta put yourself out there. You gotta put yourself out there. That's the only way you're gonna get things done. You got to put yourself out there. And you got to start. Stop saying you're going to start and just start. That's the only way things are going to happen. Mmm, this is so nice. It's melting so nicely. Okay, so we're mixing the cheese inside here. I want to taste this. Just in case I have to add a little teeny more salt to this. And then we're going to throw some cheese on top of the bun. And I'll mix our, our condiments and stuff. 
And I gotta make sure that this cheese is melting good on here, okay? Get your pan that's not scratchable and non stickable. Stickable. If I say that again one more time, not that not that's non-stick. I don't want a lot of this right now. I just want to taste it. Mmm. That's delicious. That's delicious. Hey you little brother. I haven't seen you in a long time. Yeah, boy, you need to come visit me, little brother. You need to come visit me. You already know what time it is. Come see me. Okay, we're gonna mix these onions in there. Yeah, man. Just mix them in there sporadically, you know, just, you know. Mmm. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Got my mouth watering already. <laughs> Ooh, Lord, that looks good. Scrumptious. Okay, I want to add onion, but not a lot of onion, because I'm not, I don't like too much onion. All right, so we're just going to move that to the back there. We're going to leave this cheese out for a moment. I hate the way they put this cheese inside this pack. It drives me nuts. Okay, cheese is nice and soft. I'm going to get my rag here. Um, if I missed anybody's comments or anything like that, I'm sorry. You know, I'm busy cooking. Okay. All right. I love these type of knives with the sheaths to them because, you, you know, just good. they're good to have. They're good to have. All right, guys. So now we're going to cut up. I'm going to use jalapenos on mine, okay? My son and my boyfriend don't like jalapenos. That's okay. But I'm going to have some on mine, okay? I am going to use some tomatoes, some lettuce. We have some pickles over here also. Okay. So, I'm just going to slice some tomatoes. This is what I was talking about with this tool of tomatoes. So you, you, take the tom you take the tool, get it in there, work it in there, work it, work it, and there you have it. Now you don't have a slice of tomato, okay, that you're wasting. And then that's the little piece that comes out. All right, do the same thing to the back, the bottom. Don't dig so hard, though. See? There you go. I love this tool. And you have two little pieces of tomato that you don't use, you can't even eat anyway, versus two slices of tomatoes with that piece on there, right? There you go. All right, so now we're just going to slice some tomatoes. And I love these tomatoes. They're nice and hearty. They're thick. They're firm. Okay. I just love them. Oops. Don't do what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> With the knife, all right? Don't do that. We're going to take some lettuce. Now, the part of the lettuce that I like is the crunchy part of the lettuce. That's the parts that I like. Okay. All right, guys. All I did was just break that part of the top part off, right? So it's easy for me to just grab it out. All right? So I'm just going to move that out the way for a second. Oh, no. Man down. Okay. That one's a little. Okay, I still want to make sure that cheese stays nice and melted in there. 
while we're waiting for that. I'm going to cut me some jalapenos up. I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. Get me some nice jalapenos. I love these. We're going to slice those up before we cut our bread, okay? Just taking a lot of these peppers off because, whoa, I don't want so much pepper. All right. Make them as thick as you want. You can also fry these up too if you like. I'm not going to do that today anyway. Okay, we're just going to move those to the side. Rinse your knife, your rag. Don't put your hands in your eyes. Don't forget you just got finished touching jalapenos. Even, <coughs> excuse me, after you wash your hands, don't put your hands in your face. Okay. Very dangerous. Okay, so I'm going to throw those little two pieces away. I'm trying to do something. My daughter's still trying to call me. So, Nasia, if you see me on this live, just come to the house. Stop calling. Cut my live off. Okay. So, get a nice piece of hard roll. Love these rolls. So what we're going to do is take our bread knife. Cut her down the middle. Keep your finger inward. Fingers in, all right? So you don't cut your finger. And always make sure the blade is in back in. Okay, keep your fingers inward. There we go. All right, do not cut the, I'll show you. Don't go so far, okay? See up here, don't cut all the way down like that. Don't cut all the way down there, all right? Just cut enough like that, all right? That way you can hold that bread open and pull it open without it giving you a problem, see? And that way you can stuff everything you need to stuff in there, okay? And all we're gonna do is just cut this in half, all right? That should be it. Okay, we're just gonna put that other half over to the side. Okay, so, now we have our nice hard bread. What we're gonna do is get a knife, a butter knife, Get your mayo, get your mayo, all right? And just spread your mayo in there. Cause you know we like some mayo, honey, on the bread, honey. On both sides, all right? Get your mayo. This is a good meal. Like your kids can join you making this meal here. It's a really good meal. So. It's a good fast meal. This wasn't too long. All right, so please like and share. Please like and share the picture like button, please, so I can do more of these videos for you guys. And even if you don't, I'm still gonna do it because I'm doing something for me. <laughs> Nobody kidding, but still, please like and share. Please like and share. I should have got, <clears throat> I should have got my butter. Um, I should have got my other uh, knife. That's okay. All right, so we're gonna move this out the way. Alright guys. Okay, so now we're gonna get our cheese again. I like to put the cheese at the bottom so I know it definitely melt it. Even though we see that it melt it. Okay. Put your cheese like on the angle. Don't pull bread out of this, out of this, okay? Don't pull the bread out, all right? It makes your bread thin and it breaks apart easily by you pulling the bread out. All right? So now we got three pieces of cheese. It should look like that, okay? What we're gonna do is scoop some of this burger one here. We're gonna get us a nice spoon. Gotta wash my hands. 
meal wall off my hands. Get a nice spoon. Put it up. See how the bread didn't break? Because I did not cut it at that very tip I was telling you. Do not slice the bread all the way down there. Slice it just above that part. Oops, sorry. Okay, and that's how you open, I mean, slice a piece of bread, all right? So, to keep it open, just prop your fingers in like that. And just stuff that bad boy. Mm, 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 guys. Guys. Mm. Stuff that bad boy. Stuff that bad boy. Yes. Stuff him. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can see the onions in there. Mm, mm, mm. Smells delicious. Okay. Smells delicious. All right, now we're gonna do some lettuce and we're gonna do some tomato. Let me show you a trick to lettuce. I'm gonna get a thing of it out. Okay, now you know how lettuce has that little curve? Oh, shoot. It has this curve. Oh, I messed it up. Let me see. I have messed my lettuce up. <laughs> Let me grab from the bottom. There we go. That's gonna be good. But there we go. Now you know how lettuce has like a, a curve type of situation. Don't put it the lettuce on the sandwich like that. Okay? Because you won't be able to hold your tomato. Turn the lettuce over like that and put your tomato on top. And that holds the tomato. See? Like that. Now these are the parts that I like of the tomato. I'm gonna have the lettuce. My boyfriend doesn't like those parts. Okay. Oh my goodness, this lettuce is good looking. All right, you lettuce. All right, so these are the parts that my boyfriend likes. So you can shred them, I mean, you know, little pieces here and there. But now you're gonna put your tomato on there. All right, so it holds the tomato up, see? And your tomato does not slide. Your tomato does not slide. Looks nice, scrumptious. Now you're gonna add some pepper, not no salt, no salt, no salt. Put enough salt in there. <laughs> add some pepper. Oops, wait a minute. My boyfriend likes ketchup, so I'm gonna have to put some ketchup on his. Let me give him some ketchup. Ketchup is optional. I know a lot of people do like ketchup, but he doesn't eat ketchup on it. I mean, I don't eat ketchup on mine. He does, and this is his plate, so I'm gonna. Put some ketchup on there first. So let me peel the lettuce off and the tomatoes off. All right. Okay. And there you go. And then we'll just lay these babies back on there. There. And on there. Okay, now we'll put the pepper. Give it a little color. There you go. And then we're gonna put some oil. Some oil, drizzle that oil in there. And that. That's how you make a cheeseburger. Sub guys. Delicious. We're gonna cut this in half and plate this. Show you a trick to smooth this. To uh, hold this bread together, alright? Give them half. Give them half to each one. Put your fingers like this over the knife. But watch your thumb. Push it inwards so you do not cut your finger. Alright, guys? Oh my goodness. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Wow. It looks good. That looks delicious. Let's turn this baby around so y'all can see all the goodness falling out of there. All right, now we're gonna put some pickles and chips in. And there you have it. All right, guys. some chips chips I want to open <laughs> and then you're just going to add some on your plate this looks delicious guys delicious add some of them chips on there don't worry about them on the floor I'll pick those up guys that is a meal for you to make for your family delicious 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 all right so let me know what's on your plate tonight all right so thanks for tuning in to cooking in your hood we'll be back with another video tomorrow i'm not sure we're gonna make but we are gonna make something delicious i hope you guys enjoyed this please hit the like and share button please like and share button thank you for tuning in